Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Infotech with Zafar Khan. Today's agenda of this lecture is we will create another project for CI CD pipeline using GitHub, Jenkins, Marvins, Docker, and of course Docker Hub. So in this project, we will use Groovy scripted pipeline. The last project I used a declarative pipeline, but in this project we will use the scripted pipeline. So let me first brief you about a scripted pipeline. Actually, Jenkins provide two different syntaxes for pipelines. That is declarative and scripted pipeline. So when DevOps engineer write a Jenkins pipeline, they can choose either declarative or scripted. When the Jenkins pipeline was first introduced, the scripted pipeline was the only option. Declarative pipeline was not there at the initial stage. However, the software developers enthusiastically embraced the scripted pipeline for two big reasons. First, it provides the domain specific language that simplified many tasks a Jenkins developer would perform and at the same time it allowed developers to inject Groovy code into their pipeline anytime. So Groovy is basically Java virtual machine based programming language. However, there are some drawbacks of a scripted pipeline. The development community found that pipeline builders with strong Java and Groovy skills, but little experience with Jenkins would often write complicated Groovy code to add functionality that's already available through the Jenkins DSL. So Jenkins DSL is a basically a plugin that allows to define jobs in programmatic form with minimal efforts. So DSL stands for domain specific language so excessive code in a scripted pipeline violates one of the fundamental ci ci cd pipeline and because of that jenkins corrected this by introducing declarative pipeline so a scripted pipeline and declarative pipelines are different only in their programmatic approach one uses a declarative programming model while the other uses an imperative programming model. But they both run on the same Jenkins pipeline subsystem. There are no differences in the runtime performance, scalability and problem solvability perspective between them. They only differ in synthetic approach used to achieve an end goal. So these are the key differences that allow a developer to quickly differentiate between a scripted pipeline and declarative pipeline. So declarative pipeline always begin with the word pipeline. A scripted pipeline on the other hand is always begin with the word node. So declarative pipeline break down the stages into individual stage that can contains multiple steps steps these are the steps okay while the scripted pipeline use a groovy code and references to the jenkins pipeline dsl within the stage element without the need of steps so here it is no steps but here in the declarative plan we, we declarative pipeline we mention the steps Okay, so I hope the basic funda is clear for a scripted and declarative pipelines. Right, so here we have basically uh, selected the two servers. One is the Jenkins server and the other one is the Docker. So let me show you that. So this is our Jenkins server, right? and it is created in the northern virginia okay 
So I have created a Docker server in California. Different reason. Let me show you that. So here is our Docker server. I have created in the Northern California. So basically I have created the Docker server in California will deploy the application remotely using a scripted pipeline. While Jenkins server is the Northern Virginia, right? So we will install the uh, Maven in the Jenkins server to, uh, to use the MBN commands to build Okay, which is present under the bin folder of Jenkins server. We'll integrate the Jenkins uh, with the GitHub to fetch the code written in the uh, repository, GitHub repository. Okay, we will build the Docker image in Jenkins server. So Jenkins, our Jenkins server is the is in Northern Virginia. Okay, so. We will uh, build here Docker image in Jenkins server and push into the Docker hub. It's uh, in the repos remote repository. Then we'll create a Docker container in a remote server that is Docker server and that is available in the California and deploy the application into container, right? So first we will start the installation of Maven in the Jenkins server. So uh, let's say start now so you know very well how to install the Maven. I have already shown you download the Maven. Copy the link and go to the Jenkins server. This is our Jenkins server. Okay. So copied now. Okay. Unzip that one. I think unzip utility is not installed, so we need to install this one as well. Okay. So what we will do? apt install unzip sudo required sudo. Yes, it is installed now. So we have this folder zip file, so we need to unzip it. Sudo unzip. Now go to this file this folder this is a folder basically not file then under bin cd bin this is map mbn so where we now in this path home apache bin right okay so our uh, maven is now installed okay so we'll use this one uh, path basically. Uh, we'll write a pipeline. So, but before writing that, install the plugins. Okay, we have to install the plugins, SSH agent and SSH plugin. Okay, because we will SSH it from our Northern Virginia to California and we'll use the PEM file as well. Okay, so first we will, we need to install the plugin so go to plugin and available plug click on available plugin and just type ssh in the search so you will get this one ssh and publish over ssh let's stick on that one as well ssh agent is required and that's it install without restart but we will restart as well.
Alright, so let's restart. I always recommend to restart. Even it is suggest suggested that install without restart. Right. So now go to dashboard and we'll create a pipeline. Put the job name over here. So just put the any name you can put better docker a scripted job. Docker scripted job pipeline. Okay. So here we will write the scripted pipeline code, right? So first what we will do, we will just simply as I told, it is start from node. So put node over here and then if stage, different stages will be there. So stage and first stage what we will do, we will integrate with GitHub. Okay, so get code. right get okay so url we need to put over here so first we have to log in as well the git github and get the url i think i have logged in already So we'll use this docker file okay and in this docker file just to explain you what exactly I'm going I'm taking the baseline uh, image okay from repository and then installing uh, update first and then installing the Apache 2 to, to run uh, to run in the docker container okay uh, Apache 2 and then we will we will uh, download here uh, one template that is CSS template okay and here the application is say for example if a developer uh, develop a new code and just um, keep in particular one of the one of the URL particular URL and they will provide the URL that application is on that particular URL so you just put over there the URL you just change the URL over here so application will uh, deploy on or required in uh, respective environments okay and then uh, we are just downloading this one and zip file into this so this is our working directory and first unzip it and then we'll uh, copy this one entire things okay and then uh, we'll remove it and we'll finally will execute it okay so this is our docker file so i will take a url first so you just click over here click copy and then put over here yeah so i will get the code that that code is nothing but that docker file okay and then second stage what i will do i will install the maven package so before build so stage and then mbn pack mbn package mbn package so for this you have to do another steps what we will do we'll just save it and uh, go to the manage Jenkins and just click on tool and go to the Maven this is Maven okay so Maven installation 
click on maven add maven and the name which var name you can put with the version or you can change as well here so this is basically the name this version you can rename it with some other uh, specific small one but i am taking as it is okay so just copy here and put over here right so 3.9.2 we are installing right okay then apply and save it okay so maven is already installed then what happened go to the dashboard and then scripted pipeline where we are go to the configuration part and here so we will uh, write some code over here so that we uh, don't need to remember all those things so you can build from here as well so pipeline syntax okay so what exactly we are doing we are just writing a script maven script so tool okay so maven is a tool so basically we will select a tool from predefined so tool type we have maven right tool type will select a maven and this is the maven uh, file tool okay so just generate it and write to copy it okay and put over here so we'll define a variable mv and home is equal to just paste over here tool name is our this and tool type is maven right and one more variable we define def command mvn command mvn cmd is equal to so just copy this one we'll execute this one okay and it is under bin so this is our bin and under bin we have mvn command mvn right so tool is is this one and type is maven so everything will be under this variable so under this variable we have bin and then mvn right and then we'll execute so execute sh command sh command right so dollar here dollar is required because we are using the variable right so dollar is needed so now dollar and then mvn better copy and paste over here so that will not mistake any spelling okay and clean install clean install right so first in the first stage we are fetching the code from the github and then second stage we are installing the maven package okay so the tool which you are using the tool type is maven and the tool name is this one okay which i have downloaded and all these are in this variable and finally we will execute it so that it will be uh, choose in the right path okay so that's why i have used the variable so let's apply it and execute first i mean build it and just check so first getting the code it's a success And second steps is also success right so here you can also check the console output so you can see over here everything is installed 
Myron's. Right? So everything is now success. Just go back and our next stage is we will build a docker image. Right? So just stage build docker image. So we will simply write a command docker for doc image how to build so you know that sh then docker image build hyphen t tag okay tag name we will put over here chat case 0 0 and then put the docker i mean image name so image name you can put any let's put docker image okay and we'll select the latest i mean it will build the latest we will basically check the latest one okay and then just don't forget to put the dot command because uh, it will otherwise it will it will show the under uh, our current directory otherwise you need to put the full path over here so where is basically uh, the docker right so now uh, just uh, double check docker image build hyphen t and then the tag one then docker image right so let's save it and check build just build it <coughs> And we are building this one in our Jenkins server. Okay. So error. Let's check what error is. Docker build permission denied. Okay. Permission denied is coming. So we are building in the Jenkins server, right? While the Docker socks file is the ownership of root let me let me show you why this error is came okay so ls hyphen l and slash var slash var slash run slash docker dot sock so this is a basically file okay and this file the ownership of this file is root and we are running this building this image using the Jenkins user okay so it will not allow so that's why it is giving the permission denied so we need to change the ownership of root instead of I mean instead of root it should be Jenkins, right? So there is a command, we will use it, sudo ch change owner, ch o w n, change, change owner, and then Jenkins colon docker space this one. right so again double check the ownership has been changed or not yes so Jenkins on and I mean the ownership of this particular file has been changed so Jenkins is the owner now so we can build it let's check build again
again it's error what error this time logistica is not there okay so i think we need to change the docker file so let's go and change the docker file and just click over here edit it so this logistica is not there right so just put avalon so there is a car basically avalon car paste over here and change everything wherever logistica is right so we have modified now and just commit it and build again build number six yes so it is now success so docker image file everything is fine now so let's check whether docker image has been created in the jenkins server so sudo docker images so image now created okay so this is the docker image okay and this one is the base image and these two are the errors which we found okay so forget about that so now we have modified little modification has been done on the docker file and it is now built okay so our next stage will be we will push into the docker hub right so for this we require a credential how to put the credential let me show you okay configuration and here see in the plain text i cannot share the password user id and password user, user id you can provide but password is very difficult so what we will do we will take a bind variable okay for our credential so with credential bind credential we will use it so we'll create as pipeline syntax okay we have already okay. so with credential bind credential to variable we will use the variable we cannot provide the password so we will select secret text now secret file secret text okay so here variable you can write whatever the variable is so variable just put the hub password hub ewd password credential we will not provide over here we will just select over here jenkins then select the secret sorry secret text not file secret text and here the secret is nothing but a uh, your credential okay so credential is for the docker hub okay id you can put anything hub password pwd description put the same okay and add okay so here credential it is added now so credential we cannot write over here we will just put a variable okay and then generate it so credential is i mean this script is generated just copy and paste over here docker we have built a stage it will be separate stage push into docker hub push image is simply right push image okay Let's correct the indentation, otherwise we will get confusion.
so this is our this brushes okay so here what we will write we will put in our sh we'll log in it sh and then docker login docker login and hyphen u and the username you can provide over here 0034630 our user and then password we'll use bind variable dollar this is our hub password I think it should not be like this and as we are using the dollar sign so we will use this one double quotes curly brushes with dollar if you are using then you need to put the double quotes right okay so then we will finally we will push it so we'll command put the s sh and then docker image push where this is our image name that case 0034630 and then docker image latest right no spelling latest so here docker image push this image the latest right so it will go to the docker hub okay we'll push into the docker hub so just check this one is fine this one is this one is fine yeah so i think this is fine but we need to log in the docker hub okay so just go to here and then click hub log sign in the docker hub okay so docker image we have sonar image we have docker image as well but it will create a new one okay under this one we will create i will get the new image right so whatever the image name we have and it will also say that timeline when it is created and when it is pushed okay so we have done now so just now apply and save and build it build so now it's uh, seven Yes, so this is now success and it is pushed into the docker hub. So we will go to the docker hub and let's check it. Just to refresh first. And the docker image came up because so recently and just click over here. And here it is a few seconds ago. So just pushed it. So the docker image is also pushed into the docker hub right so now the final stage is our to create a container into the remote server so for this we need an ssh agent right an ssh plugin we have already installed in the jenkins server so now go to the configuration part and we will do here the next stage and final stage 
will create a container in the remote server which is in our California the server is available in the California remotely okay so stage create create container okay so don't bother about that how to write this one just go to the pipeline syntax and here you will select the ssh agent and we have already installed so it must be show over here ssh agent ssh agent right it is there okay so now add jenkins and here we will select ssh username and with private key so id here we will just put over there ssh con connection description would be same username we are using the ubuntu machine okay and we have already logged in the ubuntu so our serve our username is ubuntu right and here we will insert the private key so private key is nothing but a pam file so pam file we have already generated so let's go to our desktop and it is our in at least is they are in the pam file so we desktop ls minus nrt so this is our docker key this is our pam file okay so we will call we will just copy this pam file get it and just copy this the entire thing from here and put into this here right so just double sure everything is copied yes right so now add it and sshcon con automatically came okay so now create so this is our script we will copy it and paste over here okay okay so here we have to also do some modification what we will do we will put the image command we need to put over here right so sh So here, if you see over here, click over here. So you just copy this one up to here. Okay. <laughs> copy and put over here. And then we are using the Ubuntu machine. So Ubuntu at the rate of what is our California? Let's go to the go to California okay northern california because our server is there so copy the ip address of the docker server so here we are in california okay and this is our docker server and just this is the private ip public ip sorry so just copy this one and go to the jenkins and put over here so user use username is this one and then ip address is this and here what we will do we'll create a container so docker run hyphen uh, hyphen p p will map the port okay so let's put 8000 and colon 80 and then 
detachable mode hyphen d and hyphen hyphen name the our container name basically container name so docker container put the docker container docker container and this container will uh, create from our image so this is our image so latest image right so just double sure so our latest image docker okay and that this is the container name name is there and it is a detachable mode and we are uh, mapping the port 8000 and docker run and this is our ip address so i think everything is fine now okay right so this is for this and this is for the stage and this is for the final load right so copy it save and apply and just build once build is successful then we will copy and paste the public ip of remote server in a new browser and we'll check the application is running or not so probably it's okay so again the error is the same error that is it is uh, i mean permission denied probably we need to do the same thing over uh, in the remote server as well right because it will it is not allowing that particular file so go to the docker server this is our docker server okay so just check now ls hyphen l and then slash wires slash run slash docker dot sock so this is the root permission so we need to provide the permission change we need to change the permission with user and we, i mean ubuntu user right so previously we was we were using the jenkin user so that's why we put the jenkins but now we need to replace the root with ubuntu users okay so change the ownership ch o w n change ownership and uh, sorry it should be sudo first sudo change o w n ownership and then it should be ubuntu ubuntu colon docker and then copy this one right so the permission should be ubuntu yes so ownership has been changed so now just try again build it and before building just check if the, do we have any image docker yes we don't have any container so let's create a container then we will check right so it is now created successfully probably yes okay so the console output is showing everything is fine so all success and then sss agent also worked okay and here in the remote server uh, we can check the sorry this is not remote server this is our ubuntu docker server okay so just sudo type sudo docker yes what all containers are running so this is the containers docker container which you have created uh, with this image okay and it is running just 39 seconds ago okay and we can cross check in the browser as well so this is our california right so just copy it go to the new browser paste over here and then put the 8000 port which we have mapped and just check application in application is running over here or not okay so 
here we can see that output is output should come let's see yes it is so here we can see the output which is coming from the remote server and this application is running on the docker container which is remotely deployed so this is an example of which i have shown you how to implement the ci cd pipeline for docker based application remotely so we had deployed the application in different region that is in california okay and it is now working fine right okay guys we'll meet again with the new video thanks for watching if you like this video don't forget to click the subscribe button please